everyone and welcome to the energy update from October 30th till November 5th, 2023. My name is Heike Bartels and I'm now sharing with you what my guides told me for that week. <laughs> well, the sun's so bright, lovely, mm, unexpected, but I will, I just film anyway because now is the time I have. So will be here with <laughs> all this lovely sun. The first topic they told me was liberation from judgment and they just said that division energy has a history throughout the past years and uh, we all know it was very much encouraged by politicians and other kinds of authorities. So at the beginning it was well accepted but now as we have topic after topic or event after event challenging us and frightening us always the same more and more people realize that this black and white thinking does not help anybody um, it's not helpful for the world it's not helping them it's just creating conflict it's excluding many people and their valuable experiences and their contribution to the world. So it's just not helpful. And to come to this realization, many people needed a personal experience. So they either were excluded themselves or they saw close people close to them being excluded and suffering from that. And of course, then we, we start questioning, is that really worth it? Is that really necessary? And does it help? We also noticed, of course, that it was all going into certain directions. So is that helpful, that direction? <laughs> and then is this kind of uh, action, or are these kinds of actions really justifying it? So there came more and more and more questions and that's what we're still in, this ongoing process of questioning things. And yeah, people come to the realization that judgment in general is not very helpful. And so this is the growing awareness in the collective. It's not helpful. It's coming from our past. And in the past with certain beliefs and, and this limit, limited black and white thinking that was kind of helpful. Yeah, we were uh, finding a certain stability in thinking like this. This is the right thing to do, so we do this. And, and then we felt a certain stability, always having to, um, to juggle around, well, this, this, of course, it creates a, a kind of instability if you are not a very secure person within yourself. But of course, all this is changing now. And in fact, um, we just noticed that we need to release these old beliefs because so much is now breaking down and, and um, changing. So it's not any more helpful. We, we experience and we understand that it is more that there is more than one view that is right because we can understand okay this person has this kind of life so for this person this and this and this is right but a different person has um, a different life and therefore something else can be right for them so we un understand or we developed a better understanding about the diversity and the necessity for diversity on this planet because we were so much pushed into black and white thinking. Yeah, so the second topic is very much con connected to exactly this. It's about shifting our thinking patterns and therefore also overcoming our beliefs and meaning exactly those beliefs which are uh, creating this trap of stability because this has always been like that, quest no questioning. Yeah, but we're living in a different time now and everything is changing and a lot of this, what we thought was stable, is crumbling. So what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing with this? It's not working anymore. And if we try to, um, to cling to it, it's only creating 
sorrow. Yeah, it's not helpful. So what we're really asked to do is to notice, okay, this is crumbling down and not look into that direction that we always have been asked to do this, but now it's more than ever to look at the new space that's emerging and to see the possibilities coming from this. We're called to see all this as a process, so if something falls away, there's a new space that's created and to, to just immediately change our, our perspective towards or draw our perspective towards this new and to think about the new possibilities and and the wonderful opportunities coming from there and if you cannot see it because you're sad and you're grieving which is part of the process and that's fine you're asked to if you can't visualize it because you can't see anything new you are asked to think about how you want to feel. So, for example, we know all that a new world is emerging. So if you cannot see in detail what you would like to see in this world, think about how you would like to feel. How would you like to feel living? <laughs> yes, how would you like life to feel for you? And I'm sure you know something, <laughs> you know the answer. So that's something that's really helpful. And then you will attract, as you know, natural laws, law of attraction. You will more naturally attract more of this. Like you want to feel joy, so more joyful things will enter your life. You want to feel love, more lovely things will enter your life. And then this is also how this eternal present moment makes the future and that's what we're asked to do now so I have a an affirmation that really helped me uh, shifting this and I did it a long time ago because I came from a lot of depression in 2012 and this really helped me so my affirmation I share it with you here in case it inspires you Thank you, universe, for showing me the wonderful opportunities evolving from this situation. I am safe. Yeah, because if you are a little fearful in whatever you're experiencing, it's always helpful to add a little phrase that assures you that you are protected because you are. You're not meant to suffer. And... The guides just wanted to say here, focusing on the past won't reanimate it. It only brings you sorrow. Well, it may reanimate it for a little or in parts, but it will only prolong the suffering. And we know that. So lots of love from them. And the message from the masters was be extra gentle with yourself as many now are going through a time of deep personal transformation. Yeah, it's just now that's what it is. We know where we are, Scorpio, so here we are. And don't get upset or cross with you if you find this a little confusing. And um, don't be impatient. Yes, it will, it will change. So, because change is the only thing that's, that's assured. So allow yourself the time this process needs and know that you will come out of it a lot stronger and with more clarity and sooner than you think so it's all about this transformation process and you may feel very confused but just let go allow yourself the time you need be extra self-caring and yeah take time out if you need that yeah very important it's here again, yes, love yourself, they said, and ask yourself the question, what can I do for myself to make me happy? And do that, yeah, don't only do it for other people. Of course, it's also a great thing to do for people you love, but remember, it all starts with you, so love yourself first to be able to have your cup overflowing and loving the others. 
Okay, that was it for this week. Thank you very, very much for being here and for sharing, liking and subscribing because you know that's the YouTube game to have more people on this channel and hopefully help them as much. And of course, just letting you know on Instagram at Heike Dance, you can have a daily dose from the masters and they also guide the feel good workout hike about it. That's a meditation in movement based on Pilates. So if you like, go there as well. You can do it. Don't think it's too challenging. We are challenged now, but bit by bit we get through this. And this is something that we cannot practice often enough. And it's very important to not only practice it on the thinking and bit, but also to do that with our body as a physical experience. That's so much more helpful. You notice you get a different stability approaching things. Okay, enough said. Lots and lots of love from all of us and we see you next week.